Hi, welcome to the paint bar at Golden Artist Colors. I'm Patty Brady, and today I'm going to show you a really great technique using the new core watercolors to create monoprints. For this process, we're going to need a variety of the core watercolors. We're going to need watercolor brushes, the graphics monoprinting plate, the Arches 88 printmaking paper, some blotter paper, the fine line applicator, and a water bath. One of the things I like about the mono printing plates is that they are transparent. So you can use your original watercolor underneath for a reference or a photograph or a printed image or just paint from life. To begin, I like to tape the plate down. I'm going to use the original watercolor. I'm going to slide it under the plate and I'm going to tape the other side just so that it doesn't move while I'm working. So once you have the plate taped down, you can begin painting. So I already have the core out here on my watercolor palette, and you're going to see that as I put the watercolor paint on, it's going to buckle and break apart. And actually, this is, this is what we, we want, because it'll give us an interesting effect at the end. Um, I can paint this way, but the other thing I can do, which is really kind of fun, is I can actually use the paint directly from the tube. Then, after you've um, applied the paint directly from the tube, you can go back with your brush and move it around on the surface. The more water that you have mixed into the core, the more you're going to get the breaking up of color. So you can play back and forth with how much water you add to the uh, pure core on your palette. Once you've completed your painting, then we need to let this dry completely. So while our painting is drying, let's do another one. And I'm just going to use that same image, but a new plate. Tape this down. This is a really neat drawing process. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the fine line applicator. And what I've done is I've mixed a core color. It's the indigo with some distilled water. And you only need the distilled water if you want to store these for a while. Okay, I like these fine line applicators because they give this really nice little line. And basically, I'm going to use that same image, but now I'm going to use this really as a drawing tool. Uh, just do your drawing just like you would. So I have my lines where I want them, and now I'm going to go back and add uh, some water to the edges to get some more watercolor app applications. And or I could actually go in and add a little bit of um, color, just like we did in that first example. Sometimes it's nice to have them bleed a little bit together. But of course, you can just play with this and experiment. So now that this one's finished, we're going to put it aside and dry, and then we can get into the monoprinting process. Now that the plate is dry, we can print it. So I'm going to use the Arches 88 and I'm just going to dampen it. It just takes a minute because this is so absorbent. I need to blot it with the blotter. Just lay it on, on one blotter, put the other one on top. Your hand, get, the, get all that shininess off of the paper. You can see this is nice and matte. And all we have to do is center it right on top of that dry watercolor. I like to use a piece of release paper or anything that just sort of protects the back of that paper because it's very fragile. And just use your fingers to burnish the surface and carefully grab an edge. Voila. So use the same process we just did with the other plate that's drying. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have fun experimenting with this really cool process.